Hi there, my name is Christian Eschbach, and after doing one Ramones album review, I figured, what the hell, let's make it into a triple shot. So here is number two of a triple shot, Ramones, End of the Century. This comes three years after their debut album, which is what I covered in my last album, or my last review, album review, yeah. Ah, so, hmm... Not as good as their first album. The album opens up with Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio? It's a good tune. It's not a bad tune. Gets the album open and going. Um, is it the first song I'd want to hear from the Ramones? No. You know, uh, but it gets the album going. I know it is a pretty popular song with a lot of people. It's just not one that work, you know, that I'm overly into. Uh, after that, we get into I'm Affected. This one's kind of your cliche, middle of the road punk kind of song. Once again, it's not bad. It's just, you know, not where I'm at. Uh, then we get to Danny Says. This one's a little bit different. I don't mind it. But it's a song that I would only listen to if the CD's playing. Chinese Rock. I do not have the love for this song that some Ramones fans have. Chinese Rock isn't bad. It's just not a song that I'm overly into. I think they could have maybe done a little more with it than they did. Uh, the Return of Jackie and Judy. This one's an interesting song. I really kind of enjoy this one. Um, I don't know where to go with that one, really. It's just, it's kind of a fun song. I kind of like where they go with it. I kind of like the duo couple kind of vibe that they give to it. You know, that's, that's about it. Uh, after that, we get to Let's Go, which, yeah, whatever. Uh, then we get to Baby I Love You, which I think was a Phil Spector song. Um... I don't know how I feel about the Ramones with horns behind them. You know, it just seems, this song seems a little gratuitous to me for the Ramones. Not a song that I, I know. I Can't Make It On Time is, all right, I guess. Uh, this Ain't Havana is kind of forgettable. Then you get to Rock and Roll High School. Uh, realistically, to me, this album kind of feels like it was either part of the promotional material for the Rock and Roll High School movie that the Ramones did, or they did the Rock and Roll High School movie to kind of promote this song and this album a little bit. I, I'm not 100% sure. I can't say, because, you know, they use more songs than just what's on, more than just Rock and Roll High School, which is what's on here. But Rock and Roll High School is one of those songs that, I think it gives the Ramones a bad name because it sounds so cheap and cheesy compared to a lot of their other ones. All the Way isn't bad. And then it, the album finishes with High Risk Insurance, which I think is an interesting way to finish the album. It works for me. Um, Rock and Roll High School might have been the only other song that maybe could have finished this album kind of strong. This is not a Ramones album, based off the, the 12 songs I just covered. This is not a Ramones album I would recommend to anybody overly, really, honestly. Uh, if you're a Ramones fan, yes, you should have it as part of the collection. Is it a Ramones album that I listen to? Of all the Ramones albums I have, this is one of the ones I listen to the least. I will tell you that. Uh, even the bonus tracks really don't save it here because um, the bonus tracks are 
I Want You Around, which is a soundtrack version. I'm assuming that's the Rock and Roll High School soundtrack version. Um... Uh, it's not a bad tune. I enjoy I Want You Around. It's it's a good song. So that one's, you know, cool to have on here as a bonus track. But then you got the demo version of Danny Says, demo, demo version of I'm Affected, demo version of Please Don't Leave, uh, All The Way, and Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio? I'm not into most of those demos, really. Please Don't Leave is kind of a little interesting, but as, really, aside from I Want You Around, most of the bonus tracks really don't do anything for me. There is also a, a radio promo thing in here. It's not listed on the back. I don't recall if it's at the end of the demo version of Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio or if it's a hidden track. The little radio promo is kind of cool. I do enjoy that. But overall, if you could find this album cheap, you know, if you can find it used for like five bucks, sure, pick it up. If you got to buy it brand new, I personally wouldn't pay more than 10 bucks for, you know, even including the bonus tracks. And I know I paid more than that. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody else. And even then, I think that's still a little high. It's just not... It's not what you're going to be hoping for for the Ramones. They definitely have better albums, and I will definitely cover some of their better albums uh, going forward in the future. I still haven't decided what the third one's going to be yet. I will figure that out soon enough and record it. Anyways, that is Ramones' end of the century, and yes, this has been a really fast review, but it's a punk album. It's over and done with before you realize it. Anyways, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. That is what the comment section is for. Otherwise, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Peace, love, take care.